Thirsty Thursdays are back, my friend. Okay. What a day, Kalu Kale. Glug, glug, glug. It's time to plug, plug, plug. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yes. Let's start the episode. Bot out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We should mention uh, who brought us back. Our Tunes. Yeah, OurTunes.com. That's O U R T U N E Z dot com. Our Tunes. So thanks to Our Tunes for bringing us, bringing us back on a Thursday. What is Our Tunes? What is a Thursday? What is Day Tuesday? of the Week, actually? <laughs> oh, we're not plugging Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you guys about Thursday. <laughs> Thursday if you guys got, like oh. Wednesday, oh my God, you're going to love Thursday. Don't it's forget to, to wake up on Thursday and shout our coupon code, <laughs> Jake and Amir, if I were you, to have the best Thursday ever. <laughs> Brought to you by a day. <laughs> uh, our Tunes. That's when we know we've made it. It's a cool, easy, and affordable way to discover new tunes. There's a free sign up a free ios download you can use it on your uh, iphone or on your computer it's got a greater song variety than pandora and you can use our promo codes which is my name amir or my name josh (laughs) no no jake sorry (laughs) jake jake uh to get six months of premium membership that's unlimited listening hours skips and no audio ads so it's just basically a cool way to discover new awesome fresh Music. And it's not just for people who like music. It's also for people who make music. Holy shit. And for people who are music. No, 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 no. It's You should have stopped. Okay. You, you had Sorry. a good thing going. I like to overreach. Uh, <laughs> now I can rein you back in. Okay. It's for not for people who are music. It's for people who make music. Fair enough. If you upload music, they, uh, they give you royalties that pay indie artists more than any other music streaming site up to a penny per play. One of the best rates around. Very well. It, uh, it's a great... Uh, <laughs> It's a great way to gain exposure next to mainstream artists and comedians. You can use this too. Now, lastly, if you are music, no, 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 no. Holy shit, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> so you're just music, then? <laughs> I'd love to get to know you. You're more. not a person. Uh, so yes, thanks so much to our tunes for bringing us back on a short week. Check them out. Uh, it's tunes with a Z because you know they're cool. So please do. Help them out. Help us out. And, uh, yeah, please enjoy this episode. Our our boy Streeter's on the show again. He's back, baby. And uh, don't you worry. Things actually got real. Enjoy. Shake it in the Every now and then I have a really tough question and I need some free advice. Shake it in Every now and then I get a little bit desperate and then I go on Tinder. Shake it in Every now and then I get in a sticky situation Then I have nowhere to turn Every now and then I go into a Starbucks And I swear I want to kill myself Every now and then I seize the cheese Every now and then I seize the cheese And I need your advice I fucking need it more than ever And if you only make fun of me I swear that I'll hate you forever And you better swipe me right Cause if you don't, I'll snail trail Wherever you tour, I'll follow you there Mama, turn off the podcast cause I do declare I do declare I don't know what to do So I'll ask if I were you I'll take an ear Hashtag dope, but now I'm only hashtag no. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the hand. So long. <laughs> so long. I like that this guy isn't necessarily a good singer, but he just fucking went for like one of the hardest songs to sing. <laughs> It's like the uh, beginner skier, just like, I think I'll try this double black diamond and see what happens. <laughs> and I guess it worked. I admire his it. bravery. And uh, I admire that he forced his little sister into singing the chorus. <laughs> That's what you imagine? Yeah. Get over here, Rachel! <laughs> just just got... see Jake in him here! <laughs> Make the fart noise at the end and we'll be good. <laughs> hey, Streeter's here. Hey, yeah. that song was so long. <laughs> You That's, just made me sit here for two minutes. That's actually just the first half of it. Let's play the second <laughs> half right now. The second verse. <laughs> Take a little intermission. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I thought at the very least he went for it. Well, what's his name? Oh, it's so two we can guys. never talk about it again. Actually, I don't know. There's no girl. It's it's it, what they said. That it was from two Col- people came together to make that. <laughs> My <laughs> God, <laughs> they said it was from Colin and Corey. Maybe Corey's Corey, a woman. That, 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 there, there was definitely a girl's voice in that chorus. He could have pitch shifted it. Literally. Yeah, it was all auto tuned. I can no, it wasn't. I can <laughs> sing that. I can sing that. High. There wasn't in, if they <laughs> auto tuned it, it would have been in tune. <laughs> Bright as every now and then I see the cheese. <laughs> he also like he borderline like, threatened us. If you make fun yeah. of us, I'll hate you forever. Yeah. I guess he hates you forever. I'll snail trail your house. And, He'll like, follow us to a uh, to a live show and hurt us. Yeah, that's threatening. I wonder well, if that works. was Colin or Corey who's yeah. making those threats. It was Corey. It's more of a Corey movie. Yeah. Colin's a girl's name too, isn't it? Could be. Could be. You know, nowadays people are so liberal and crazy with their names. It's like anybody can be anything. Hey, yeah. buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Take it easy on well, the weird name people, okay? Liberal and crazy. Yeah. So wait, are those the same thing? Yeah, they're those liberal, are the same crazy, thing to you? crazy, liberal. There's a, I swear to God, I saw a woman named Jordan the other day. Oh. <laughs> Jordan. This cut, no, you were wondering why we're losing to China. <laughs> That's not it. That's not the reason, though. Oh, so what's the, the woman reason? you met named Jordan was Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Lee. <laughs> hey, this is If I Were You, the only advice podcast on the internet hosted by us. I'm Jake. <laughs> and I'm Amir. Yeah. And I'm Streeter. Yeah. Uh, Streeter, are you our first three-time guest? Is really? Is third time? I think it, yeah, it's it either is. third or fourth. Wow, wow, you've been on so long, you don't even remember how many times. Yeah, and I haven't even listened to it that, ever. That's baller. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> is We've edited so... each one of your episodes really heavily, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks for that. We Thank usually you. don't even touch them, but when you're on, we record for two and a half hours and cut it down to the best 41 minutes. Then we I say a lot it. of stuff. We, we you... pitch shift it and make you Allison Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two of the Allison Williams episodes with Streeter on Autotune. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how does it work? We get emails from people in difficult places. They email us at show at gmail.com with their problems, and we do our best to advise them out of it. Sometimes it's just us two, and sometimes we have our best friend, Streeter, on. My oh, am I friend. your best friend? Um, I guess you're in, the, you're in the circle. Oh, wow. I'm in, like, do you think I'm top five? Um, Dual friends? Top five. Top That's five. a big. It's a big ask, and you know what? Don't feel a ton of pressure to say yes. Well, just because you're not in my top five, <laughs> <laughs> because I did email you my list, and you were not on it. Yeah, I got your list. <laughs> you well, got your my list. list yeah. Your list technically was your bachelor party that me and Jake weren't invited to. Wow. Okay. Oh, whoa. I'm just saying, whoa. If we're gonna get real. That's things do get real. Oh, dude. Get real on the podcast. You know, maybe I would have <laughs> invited you do. if you ever invited me over to your apartments All in right, New York. Enough, right. enough. Oh. You never went to a, one apartment. Not once. Lived in? One time. I went when he lived with David <laughs> in the East Village. In the East Village in 2005. Well, to be fair, that wasn't quite an apartment. It was like a, that's true. Yeah, it was a rat. You think if you had hole. your bachelor party now, we'd be invited? Definitely. Yeah. And totally. you know who wouldn't? Jeff Rubin. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. You're bumping him Kicked out. Kicked off. Bumped out. <laughs> Peace out, Rubin. Hello, Jake and Amir. Wow, yes, are, that's two right. Two people step in to fill his shoes. <laughs> He does wear, oddly enough, this is a cool Jeff Rubin fact, he wears a size 15 and a half. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are seven sizes too big, but he still wears them. <laughs> Have you seen him dunk? Yeah. He enters crazy. and wins those like yeah. crazy dunk like, competitions the all one. the time. Yeah, the and one. The and sure, one for, like semi-professional competition. He goes to New York to West 4th Street yeah. and he just balls there. <laughs> he he just four- balls. He has a 47-inch vertical. It's crazy. They call him the helicopter. He jumped over a Honda Civic as part of a Honda <laughs> stunt thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Blake Griffin of nerds. Guys, can I just say one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't invite you to my bachelor party. Really? Yeah. And just I'm, because I brought I, it up? No, I've always thought that that was a, that was a bad move. We were you guys and Pat. We were I on the cusp. felt like Pat, we were, too. But, like, you know, bachelor parties are hard. You can only invite so many people in life. Right, and you got to invite my your theory wife's is brother. More, yeah. yeah. My theory is more, <laughs> more than six people are impossible to move. More than six? Yeah. So it's like, if you have a group of more than six people just getting places and agreeing on shit to do yeah. becomes super annoying. Especially when you're on mushrooms. Yeah. yeah when you're, you're on a you're lot of mushrooms, mushrooms right. and, you, and you're and you going skydiving, that's like a difficult <laughs> thing to do with a large <laughs> group. Skydiving on mushrooms? No, but the dude, my, my instructor guy, almost dosed me on acid. What? When we were walking to the plane, he was like, you want a cert? You know, certs, like the mints? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, sure. And he, I took one. And I was about to put it in my mouth. And he was like, whoa, wait a minute. That one has acid on it. <laughs> on it? 
like he it's not acid. He dropped he just the dropped. acid on it. And uh, so that that would have been uh, interesting. Christ. And then he ate it. And then she, he I think you to he would not. T- he just referred to himself as Batman, and he wouldn't. I was like, "But what's your name?" He's like, "Batman." My name's Batman. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, attach yourself to my body and let's jump out of an airplane. Your together. life is in my hands. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Do you know how this parachute thing works? You know what? We'll figure it out. I got a cape just in case. Oops! I ate the acid cert. <laughs> I would be concerned enough just that he still had certs. Yeah. The problem is all the skydiving people are so cool. You can't back down ever. You know you don't want to look like a loser in front yeah. of them. In uh, front of Batman, not in front of a professional skydiver. Exactly. You know all the bad ones have been killed already. So right. are, that's why you feel safe because the good ones have survived that's long not enough. Fair. To that's have just it bad parachutes. It's, not it's bad sort of Darwinian. There's no such thing as a bad parachute. Only a bad skydiver. Yeah. Only bad humans. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's, uh, should we get started? What's, we need a, we need some fake names. We're going to give these real emails from real people fake names to preserve their anonymity. Should we do trophy wife characters? Oh, oh shit. Oh, my show. Yeah. Street of Rights for Trophy Wife. Every Tuesday night at. Well, just next Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> and then it's over. <laughs> well, you can, wait, did your episode come out? Mine was last night. Holy shit. Congrats. Yeah. How'd yeah, it go? Yeah. New ratings low. Really? <laughs> <laughs> People actually tuned out when they saw your name in the <laughs> opening did. credit. Massive drop off. <laughs> I do think it was the lowest rated one. Oh, really? <laughs> I think so. I'm sure it had nothing to do with you. I it's always it one week delayed, so it had to do with the episode no, before no, it was last. Mine. mine opened with a, a reading of Mind Kampf. <laughs> 21 <laughs> minutes. A good 22 <laughs> solid minutes. It went through the commercial break. <laughs> um, yeah, so can you give us names from Trophy Wife, the show on ABC that you write for? Sure. Um, we let's need a see. female P- name. Oh, you need a female name yeah kate is the main is the main lady How what if you couldn't kate? think of it <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i just think of the actor's name yeah I'm like bradley nope, nope. kate kate yeah right. kate writes hey dudes so i have been in a steady relationship with my boyfriend for five years now and recently he has opened up about some things that he wants to try he wants to have sex with his male friend in college he says it's strictly for having the experience and that there would be no feelings involved I feel very uncomfortable about this. We have done anal play with a dildo and had anal sex, and I even licked his asshole, but he is still dead set on having this experience with his bisexual friend. How should I feel about this? What else can I do to shake these urges he's having? I consider it cheating, but he insists it's not. Please help. Let's start with that first, last question is, do you think this is cheating? If I fucked you, would it be cheating on my girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It would? It doesn't matter what you think it is. It's how your partner would view it, you know? But that's a dangerous game. Because what if your partner's like, I think watching porn is cheating. So is that considered cheating? I mean, you have to live in their world a little bit. So like, whatever You have to deal are. with the their consequences for what you did. Oh, interesting. That is true. So regardless of how dumb Cheater, it is. Just by being married is our wisest friend. <laughs> Because he's been I able to leave it because I ate you. some mozzarella cheese last night and I haven't heard the end of it. <laughs> she is on my ass like stink on shit about the cheese thing. Um, what do you think? Do you think if if you had a girlfriend and she had well, first of all, let's say your wife cheated yeah. on you with another girl with a with a girl uh, that would be thank worse. you jesus <laughs> oh. please do <laughs> go for it babe as long as i can watch <laughs> that would be the worst thing if she wouldn't let you watch it would just be so that awful. would be worse than cheating on you with a guy yeah it but would. I, I for some i, I wouldn't I, i'll tell you what i wouldn't be into it you wouldn't be into it or you wouldn't would you, but would you mind it less than if she cheated on you with a guy definitely yeah, yeah. there's like a double standard there i think and, it, and i'm i'm okay with it yeah, like she can she can make out with another girl, and that's somewhat yeah. Fine. Like she has more wiggle room than I do, and that's okay with me. Right, I'm I'm, I'm fine with I'm, that. I would also be less pissed if uh, one I had a girlfriend, and two she hooked up with another girl instead of a guy. You'd be loving You'd be less it. pissed. Does that what does that make me homophobic or what the opposite is heterophobic? Well, well, it's you're half open minded. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're such you, an optimist. It's, it's sort of like, okay, you hooked up with a girl, I guess you maybe have, like, feelings for women, so there's, like, something I couldn't offer you there. Right, that's what it is. I think, like, anything that's, but all, the, if she did it secretly and you found out, I think that's, like, I don't know, that that always sucks. You know, at least if this guy's guy being, like, up front with his girlfriend, he's like, look, I'm having these feelings, I want to explore this. He hasn't cheated on her, he's just, like, 
actively asking well, permission. Here's the thing, though. This dude's straight lying. Because he's like, you would not pursue that unless you had emotional feelings leading you in that direction. Yeah. And he's telling her it's just like something he wants to I'm do. Just curious, no one just man. wants to do that. I you know what it would feel I mean? like what it would feel like to have my ass pounded by my friend. <laughs> man. What's up, like, babe? <laughs> What the fuck? It's not like feelings are involved. I just want Troy to fucking rail me out. <laughs> Your dick's not big enough, babe. It's just not. Don't get me wrong. I appreciated the rim job, but like you don't have a dick like Troy and I want to get reamed. <laughs> Why can't you close your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case there's a dick nearby, I want to make sure it's completely <laughs> open. I want Troy to give me a fucking pink sock, all right? I want an elephant trunk hanging off the back of my ass. Oh, he's God, lying. He, so. he's. This is a bisexual man, or maybe a gay man who's like in transition. Right, mm. Which is probably why, he, especially since he's in college, is like experimenting and seeing what's up. Maybe he's like not ready to admit that he's like having gay feelings and he's just like, I'm curious about the experience. Yeah, yeah. No one's curious about that experience unless they're like a little gay, right? Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> gay is I'm like not, a I'm not really hard to be homophobic. <laughs> you don't understand, Jake's stuffing a, a gay kid into a locker right now. <laughs> you have like, I'm not curious about what it would feel like to have a dude finger my butt. Well, let, well let's I feel just, the same as a girl. This is like uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, right? Like, yeah, you could be a little gay. Not that we're not saying it's a bad thing. We're just saying that you are a little right. Bit there's gay. like the whole Kinsey scale of like zero to six. You're either a zero or you're not gay at all. Yeah, or you're a which six is the best totally one to be. Gay. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's I, how you guarantee you get into it. It might be. It might the reverse. It might be the reverse. Six is six is straight and zero. That's is why gay. I no, just I go know. with the three. three. Yeah, that way oh, you don't have to worry I about the three, no matter what. <laughs> I'm smack dab in the middle. Um, I, I feel like she should maybe. Uh, Maybe it's time to move on from this fella. Well, her question right. is, well, it's how, also not how cheating, should I be he's feeling? asking permission. If she grants permission, then it's not cheating. So should she said, how should I be feeling about this? What else can I do to shake these urges he's having? You can't. Nothing. Just break up with him. Yeah. Just like, you know what? If you want to do this, I like totally get it. Or I don't get it. But like, I totally, uh, you know, I wish you the best, but you're, I'm not going to be your girlfriend. That's what I would say. Yeah. If you consider it cheating, then it is cheating and he shouldn't do it. Right. Or she should be like, all right, I want to hook up with a, a guy, too. Oh. Right. Another if guy. Pass, if, if you, you want to explore yeah. the benefits and uh, pitfalls of an open relationship, you could do that, too. And right, like, Okay, right. fine. You know what? You just hook up with guys if you want to. I'm going to like explore my options as well. Call his but bluff. If, like, sometimes that's a little too painful for people, and I think it's better to just cut and run and be like, you know what? Go f- get fucked by your friend at college. I'm just going to uh, erase you from my life. I'm just going to say this one thing because I feel like it's important to say, like, they're in college, so it doesn't matter. They can just break up and it's fine. Yeah, college yeah. is a is a wasteland of emotions. College doesn't count. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah, just, you know, just move along. Right. And send them my way, you know? Man, I'll set them straight. I feel like I, I should... I was talking to you last week when we were in Berkeley. I'm like, I feel like I should be in college now. Like, only now am I uh, emotionally and physically ready to hang out with college kids. Right. When I was in college, I felt like a high schooler trying to act cool. You looked like a high schooler. Yeah, yeah. Now that, I'm, now that I'm like 31, I finally look like a college kid. And I feel like now I should go back to school. You'd be the king of campus. <laughs> I, I think I said this to you in Berkeley that I uh, completely disagree with that statement. Yeah, you said it's better to be peaking now at a th- as a 31-year-old. Yeah, then, than it is to be peaking in college. Yeah, and that you can sad. still fuck college girls. Right. So and I don't have to go to class. class. Yeah, it's perfect. You don't have to learn anything. Yeah. Like, I you sh- don't have to sit there and fake learn to right. sleep with these lovely so, young women. So you're women. saying I should just be hanging out on college campuses? Uh, no, I also don't think you should be doing that. Well, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get laid, dude? Tinder! <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. He's better in person, Jake. You don't get that. I need to be there. He's yeah. not like you. He's not a fucking pretty shell with nothing in it. All right? Thanks, Streeter. You You're hermit right. crab. You're right. <laughs> thanks, Streeter. I appreciate that I'm pretty. Hey, thanks for letting me stay here, guys. <laughs> What's the opposite of that? Uh, gray M&M? I guess, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you're like gross on the outside yeah, and delicious on the, on the inside. Well, not that there's anything wrong with being gray. Not is even it, gross on the outside. This is our most PC neutral. episode yet. <laughs> <laughs> For any of you guys out there with gray skin, uh, that wasn't meant as a slam on you or anything like that. Is there a Tinder where instead of uh, 
pictures you see like uh funny quips tweets and stuff like that Ooh. and you judge people based on their tweets Ugh, gross <laughs> <laughs> disgusting have you gone on the tinder date yet uh that one the same one from like months and months ago oh yeah that's i right. haven't met i haven't physically met anyone that i met or that i uh met online on tinder wow i don't know very tight all right next question yeah uh, oh, guy's name. Guy's name. Go with uh, Bert. Bert's right. the little kid, the little funny child. That's perfect for this because he's a high schooler in Australia. Oh, hey guys, goodness. I'm a high school student in Australia. I'm in a band, the only serious one in my school, and my whole band <laughs> wants. To- <laughs> the whole. The- I'm in a band, the only serious one in my school, and my whole band wants to get bowl cuts. My girlfriend of a year really doesn't want me to go through with it, even though I had one when we met. Hope you can help. Is it like a Beatles thing? Yeah, maybe. Maybe like bowl cuts. Have bowl cuts now? Are bowl cuts cool? Are we back again? Am I ready to stop putting crap in my hair and just let it <laughs> fall forward? So I guess, yeah. That'd well, wonderful. whether or not bowl cuts are cool or not, what do you do when your lady friend doesn't want you to do something that all your guy friends want you to do? You're kind of fucked. Not just no. your guy friends, your, your band. band. The oh, only man. serious one in the whole school. <laughs> the only. I think you just uh, just don't do it. You don't see. So it's basically who do you prior? Who do you want to piss off? Well, right. who do you spend more time with? Probably the girlfriend. She's the one that like you want to find. You don't care if your bandmates find you attractive. You want the uh, girl that you're with to find you attractive. But you don't want to seem whipped. That's Bro, true. First see, of all, I guess like, yeah, you have to explore your heart and be like, what do I want? Yeah. If, if he's doing the bowl cut just because the band wants him to, and he would rather be like having a different haircut and have his girlfriend find him attractive, then do that. And if you would rather have a bowl cut and be one with your band and tell your girlfriend to get over it, and you can wear a hat around her. Yeah, and like I do that. The thing with a bowl cut is you can just throw some product in there and, and make it style it up and make it into something else. So that's, it's like that's not in the spirit of the band, right? Really but I'm saying like I feel like the girlfriend stage, doesn't understand that that's like the only serious band in the whole school. Babe, yeah, I feel like you don't get it. <laughs> okay, mate. Yeah. I don't the know best band in the school. I can't do it. I can't. Where's Josh Rubin when you need him? Let's wait. He's the, in New York. I'm sure he'll turn up hours. sometime. The only serious band in the school. That means you know what that means? <laughs> yeah. We're so serious we want to get matching bowl cuts. <laughs> We're so serious we don't even play music because that's too like carefree. Yeah. A lot of our shit is just spoken word poetry. About aborigines. Well, here's here's what sometimes I do when it's like girlfriend versus other friends is you weigh like who would be – I usually decide to let down the guy friends because when you let down your guy friends, they're not as mad as when you let down your girlfriend. It doesn't last long. They're yeah. like, oh, you're not going to get a haircut, pussy. All right, uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and then girlfriend is like, okay, you got the haircut. It doesn't look that good. And they're like, all right, sorry. Uh, what do you want to do for dinner? I don't care. Vagina's oh, closed. Fuck. Forever. <laughs> now I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with you. I mean, for, I don't blame her for not wanting him to get a bowl cut. Yeah. Well, like, does that, she have I don't a care say? if that's like, Hey, if baby, that's do, you mind if I'm, uh, do you mind if I'm ugly for the next six months? <laughs> mind it, if I look like a penis for a little while? It is It is weird, like, when your significant other wants to do something drastically physical to them. Because it's like, you don't have a right to say what, like, my girlfriend doesn't have a right to say what I look like. But then it's like, she has to look at it more than I do, and she has to deal with it more than I do. Right. So it's almost like she should decide what I look like. Well, I think there's also some level of you, or at least there should be, that cares about their opinion. Right. So it's not like, oh, I don't want to piss her off. It's like, oh, okay, I value uh, your viewpoint. You think my hair would look way worse as a bowl cut. I tend to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a way out for this guy. Yeah. I think he should make fun of his bandmates relentlessly. For even suggesting that they all get bowl cuts. Like, mm. just aggressively make fun of that idea. Yeah, let's that. <laughs> and I think eventually that. he'll, like, find the weak link in the band. Like, he's honestly probably the bass player or the drummer. And get, <laughs> Why do you say get that? him to flip. Because they're the non-dominant band members. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm so angry all the time on stage. I like, they don't get to make any decisions. So if, like, he can win one of them to his side, then I think he can start to sway the, the bowl cut 
the idea. Momentum. Yeah, yeah, just sway it. Uh, There's a know, point to be made that the bolt cut, cut idea is very lame. It's very <laughs> so, stupid. So let's ad- let's admit that right off the bat. Well, we don't know what's going on down there, man. Down Everything is topsy turvy. <laughs> bolt cuts are cool. Bands are serious. <laughs> <laughs> this girlfriend might be a crocodile for all we know. I just feel like She's it's, a, a it's, biting off, it's biting off the Beatles. You might as well do something original. It yeah. is kind of cool to do the Beatles. And even no, the Beatles not. ditched yeah. that bowl cut pretty quick. Yeah, they just grew it out. Yeah, they were like, oh, doesn't look that It's good. cool to come up with something original that you all want to do. Yeah. Like all you guys wear sunglasses. That's fucking tight. Or yeah. mo- what about monk haircuts, you know? A tonsure, yeah, like a monk haircut where you just have like a halo of hair. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, smart. that's a good the look. Costanza. Not a lot of people are doing that. Yeah, a right. Larry David. So, what's this guy's ultimate advice? Do what will pi- um, piss off the person less is what I say. If your girlfriend will be more pissed than your bandmates, then do what she wants. And if your band will be more pissed than your girlfriend, then do what they want. That's bad advice. Do whatever the person like. <laughs> yeah, just do whatever will make you in the least amount of trouble. No, do whatever you want. No, no, no. That's bad advice. It's, I it's say your anti, hair. Do anti whatever the bowl fuck cut. you want. No. He doesn't want the bowl cut. If he doesn't want the bowl cut. Don't get the bowl cut. If exactly. you want the bowl cut, get the bowl cut. It couldn't matter less. You're in high school, and it's your hair. But you don't understand. Everything's gonna be fine. This matters the most to him. This I know. Is the most important thing in the world, right? But now. I, man, well, what a wonderful and, life this kid leads. Which is why we, as thirty-year-olds, get to be like, it doesn't matter we can tell him the truth we don't have to be like we don't have to be placating what would i do in this situation whatever the fuck i wanted to that's it <laughs> but that's what you do in every situation exactly and it worked out pretty damn good for me didn't it you have a bowl cut <laughs> <laughs> my band's serious um all right there you have it did you guys see louie last week nah okay um, were you on it no <laughs> nervous writer but the does, return of nervous writer he does this thing where he impersonates all four Beatles in a row to make his kids uh go to sleep and it's really good wow that's all i gotta say about that all right does he do, he does different accents for each one yeah i feel yeah. like i always just do the he same says, accent I'm, jo- for I'm john i'm george i'm paul or i'm is it paul yeah paul i'm paul i'm ringo oh my god but he's such an immigrant <laughs> <laughs> just like the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more I'm as un-American what as What is it? Are. Cheeseburger? <laughs> I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Yeah. <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Cheeseburger? <laughs> no, you're not saying it right. Oh, I'm sorry. You make fun of me uh for getting hamburgers instead of cheeseburgers. Yeah. You as think well cheeseburgers should. should be the default. That's I feel like weird. once they invented once someone invented a cheeseburger, they should have just stopped making hamburgers. <laughs> it's such an obvious improvement. So you're saying the cheeseburger should be a hamburger and a, a hamburger should be a hamburger without cheese. There should just be no option to get it without cheese. <laughs> I one time Burger King tricked me because you have to ask for cheese there. Yeah. And I've never been more angry in and my life. He's never life. gone back to Burger King. I haven't. Yeah. You I was said, like, this is ridiculous. This hamburger has no cheese on it. And they're like, sir, that's a cheeseburger. And you're like, no, 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 that's a hamburger. Ridiculous. I called my dad. He thought the exact same thing. <laughs> he was like, they got you, didn't they? <laughs> He's eating it too. <laughs> the cheese thing. <laughs> I, I've been there. I've done that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Another lady's name. Ooh, Jackie. Jackie. Boom. Third question from Jackie writes, Hey guys, so here's my dilemma. I'm going to Alaska this summer to work at a fish processing plant. I went last year and had a great time, met awesome people, and made lots of money. However, this year my girlfriend wants to come with me. I love her and spending time with her, but one of the reasons I go up there is to get away from the real world for a bit, and I think having her there would change that and it wouldn't be the same experience. How do I tell her that without sounding like a dick? Or does that actually make me a dick? Thanks in advance. Love, what'd you say her name was? Jackie. Jackie. Is it a girlfriend wait. as in... Wait, what are you talking about? As in they're a lesbian couple or a girlfriend as in her female friend? I think girlfriend like her bestie. girlfriend. Like they're a couple? Yeah. You get up and walk away. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not Good this. day, sir. I'm really confused. <laughs> Why? Two women... <laughs> As a couple, she's getting sick over here. God. Jake's getting sick. Your hair's falling down into a bowl cut. <laughs> More Ben <band> serious. <laughs> Yahoo serious. <laughs> um, That's a tough one. Yeah, vacation to want to get away. And then your girlfriend's like, oh, I'll come with. And you're like, yeah. oh, 
but I like being away from you. In her head, her girlfriend's like, oh my god, I'm the sweetest. Like, yeah. look at me going up to stupid Alaska to rip salmon guts out with this just girl. for you. Right. You know? right. I feel like that signifies a fundamental problem in the relationship. Like, hey, can I, I'll come with you. Like, no, I really like, uh, I really like, uh, Gutting fish by myself in Alaska. <laughs> and many I love interestings. You, but I want to go to Alaska and touch dead fish for a, for a summer. The so, least appealing uh, thing you could possibly do. Go to the furthest away and do the worst thing. <laughs> and, uh, I'd rather do that than you. How about one little ray of sunshine? I'll come along. No, I really like the dead fish. <laughs> I prefer to be alone with the fish, actually. Yep. <laughs> I'd like my hand up in an all-white albacore, okay? <laughs> Without you there. I kind of commiserate with this. I haven't quite been able to uh, figure out how to tell someone that I'm in a relationship with that I prefer time apart because it seems like a, ne- uh, seems like a slap in the face. But I don't think it necessarily is. Right. Because have... absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. You have to set that shit up like early though. Yeah. Right. Because there I feel like, you know, you um you have a girlfriend and you're she's flying somewhere and you're like, Oh, I'll drive you to the airport and that's like that's like the first three months shit. You right. Know? And then like two years later you're they're like, Oh, I'm going, I'm flying, like we drive me to the airport, like, <laughs> oh, can you fucking take cab right. shit? You I... used to take me to the airport. <laughs> yeah. That... You used to do this. You used to do that. Right. Like, obviously, the... the you used to text me all day. <clears throat> the politeness of a relationship can't sustain the insane first three months. Amir, calm down. That was me on my best behavior. <laughs> Don't this is you, you get that? I'm leaving a voicemail to your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> get off the phone, dude. Amir, we already broke up. You don't have to justify this shit to me anymore. <laughs> no, but, like, no. Like, understand my motivations here, because... <laughs> <laughs> but do you find yourself being less... You're married, so like, do you yeah. find yourself you you do less? I spend shit a than lot of time away from Vanessa. No, you do. Streeter does real romantic shit. When we were in the Seattle yeah, market, you bought stuff. you bought her a big box of her favorite tea. Right, yeah. I thought that was really sweet. That well, stuff is awesome. But in general, do you find yourself doing less romantic stuff than you did like the first three months when you're courting her? Mm, maybe maybe the frequency is less. Like when we first started dating, I was like. Every week, it was like, oh, I got to do something. Right. I have to, like, surprise her somehow. And now, right. since we've been married for a few years, it's like, I'll still do that stuff, but it's not as, you know, we have life to deal with. Like, oh, <laughs> also, she's got to go gonna, to work. I got to go to work. You guys are like, contractually obligated to stay together at this point. Right, yeah. You have no real incentive to, like, exactly, keep yeah, the yeah, fire. Exactly, yeah, so exactly. In the it's, beginning, it's, it's like a tabloid contract? agreement from the that, sun. That, that's what marriage is? Contract? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a contract. Cool. <laughs> I'll do that. It pays that's dividends. That's what love is. <laughs> Well, it's like in the beginning relationship, like, you know, what's it called with like a little, the beginning of a fire where you're like blowing on it? Spark? Yeah, like a, no, but not a spark. A tinder? Like, tinder? Yeah, <laughs> Tinder. It's just like you're blowing on box. like this little piece of like coal that's like getting bright red every time you blow on it. You're just like trying to sustain this thing. And then by the time you're married, it's like a full going fire. You're like, oh, I mean, this thing will keep burning on by itself. I, <laughs> I don't need, most, to, I I don't need one of those. <laughs> accordion billows things would put it the opposite of how you put it where it starts it's a raging inferno and then it cools down to a nice glowing ember that's comforting and warm <laughs> oh, yeah, i guess that's true too. doesn't make you all hot and sweaty right you know what it is like i would never so since like i get time away from vanessa and we spend time away it sucks and i miss her but i would never ever then come home and be like Hey, I'm going on vacation with my boys right. for a week. Like you can't do that anymore. Yeah, like when you can go away together or whatever, you have to do it, and you should want to do it. And if you don't want to, that's well. Weird. What if your life was the opposite? What if you were in New York all the time, you never traveled, and then you had an opportunity to go on vacation without her? I think it's totally fine to to spend time apart. Like you need time away from each other. Right. You do after like three months, like you said, you need to start being like. All right, I'm gonna just like go away for the weekend with my friends, and like I'll see you after. Right, that's like what keeps you sane. Um, but to go away for a whole summer is <laughs> that's, that's like, a lot. That's a big one. Yeah. Right. So why don't why don't we tell her this? She's not a dick for wanting to go away, but maybe this girlfriend can come for only part of the time, Ooh. and you justify that by telling her like, oh, I like uh, just being by myself, not without you, just by myself. Right. For part of it, so why don't you come for part of it, and then I'm alone for part of it? Especially because what the fuck is that girl gonna do all the, all summer while her girlfriend is chilling in a fish processing plant? Right, gutting salmon, yeah. sockeye. We're talking. I guess it's beautiful. You go on hikes, <laughs> line caught, line caught sockeye. <laughs> this sounds kind of dope. I would like to go to Alaska for the summer. You can yeah. go on, work on one of those crab boats, like on Deadliest Catch. I wouldn't mind doing that. I'd get like ripped forearms. You have such a better life here. I mean, like I really can't stress that enough. <laughs> 
But my forearms would be jacked. Your forearms are already <laughs> jacked, by Thanks, the way. Man. I wish everyone could see them. I mean, my God, we have to do another video episode. Those are just God damn, cut. look at those, those pistons. Are, those, uh, are you climbing, dude. Is that the Wolverine? Nope, that's I feel climbing. like I'm watching a Wolverine trailer in HD. Really? Yeah, those forearms look so defined. Do it's they? like the definition. It's like a dictionary. I don't even know because I live with them every day. Yeah, so you just get know. used to it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? I don't see them grow because I see them every day. Yeah, they're like they're just part of me now. I guess it's just me. Uh, all right, should we take a little breaky break? A little breather. Just uh, let's calm down. Time. We're getting a little steam steamy in there, and I'm yeah. sorry. It was, getting, was, it was heat. It was hot. Heat. It was pure heat. Hot, hot heat. Uh, any funny stories from the tour? Karaoke night. Yes. Oh, after San Francisco, uh, this tour was way more tame. Right, but you still got it was very short. Drunk. It, it was, was short. Uh, yeah, during the last night, I got um, completely shit faced because they were we like we were drinking whiskey backstage. Yeah, yeah. Then I was drinking vodka Red Bull backstage. Mm-hmm. You didn't finish yours, so I drank yours. Yeah. And then during the line, they just kept on like when people were like coming up to meet us, they just kept on putting shots of oh, whiskey. Oh yeah, kept on taking shots yeah. of whiskey. That's why that happened. And that's the last... Oh, I traded shirts with a random dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you stole some teenager shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's a dope shirt. I actually gave him a really dope shirt, though. So I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed, but... <laughs> Forgot about that. Then the, the next memory... And... Oh, wait, I have two memories after that. One is watching you guys sing karaoke. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two were singing uh, Shaggy, My Angel. And just my, angel. Oh, so. yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't wow. okay. justify it with a my. You don't um, have to You qualify. guys were, it was a completely dead karaoke bar. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. was. Really There's no worse feeling than being <laughs> drunk, and it's like Sunday night at 1130. And you're yeah. like, why isn't everyone as drunk and crazy as me? I just want to like go to a crowded place and yell at strangers. <laughs> there was just four old people not having that song. We, but we lit that place up. <laughs> I actually have a video of it. Do you really? Yeah. Yes, so I have a video of it too from a phone number that I don't know. You know who it was? It was Garrett. Garrett. Oh. Garrett B. Garrett oh. B. <laughs> you took video of it? Yeah. Oh, dope. I want to watch that You video. just wander through it. It's funny. Your head just like floats <laughs> in. <laughs> I also took uh, well, after that we went to a diner. And but you do got... you, wait, do you remember the next the guy who went after us? Oh yeah, he was great too. Yeah, did what he did he sing? He sang a Queen two. song. You were a great one. <laughs> yeah, he we sang. A... Oh yeah, he sang Somebody a... to Love. Yeah, which is a which is like karaoke like degree of difficulty nine and a half out of ten. And he killed it. He yeah. slayed. Wow. It's hard to do Freddie Mercury. In who would have thought at a karaoke bar in the Castro somebody would do a good would Freddie Mercury sing Queen? <laughs> who uh, would have thought? Then we went to a diner because it was the only place that was open past midnight on a Sunday, and I took a great photo of you looking miserable. Yeah. You turned so quickly. <laughs> I was really happy for a while, and then in that diner, I ordered like I ordered. Uh, Great, uh, biscuits and gravy <laughs> <laughs> while we were waiting for it I went to the bathroom for 15 minutes and uh, puked my brains out came back <laughs> fell asleep over your food fell asleep over my food but I also I think I housed it it was pretty good yeah <laughs> did we go did we all go home together yeah we all slept with each yeah. other that night oh wow slept, <laughs> yeah, no, we had a lot of slept that with night. Dave that night did you we were coming back we took that weird at our Uber. weird little hotel oh yeah we, me and you went because we and Street are on one floor and you and Dave are on another. Yeah, and we were walking to the room and I was just like, do you want to sleep in my bed? And he was like, really? <laughs> he was like, yeah. And he was like, yes. <laughs> and we just, we slept together all night. It was beautiful. That was a bad hotel. Should we that put was a hotel the worst. on blast? A hotel, a hotel blast? That hotel bad. sucked. It was really gross. Sucked. It what was, was it called? Gross. Hotel uh, Union Square. <laughs> put them on, they're on blast now. <laughs> I felt bad, but you know what? Duh, what they you know, the people who worked there were nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the people who so worked we're there. We're not knocking them. They were great. Don't stay there. <laughs> it's the a ro- tenement building. Yeah, it looked like somebody moved there in like the seventies. Like when they first get to San Francisco, <laughs> they get off the bus and get a room for like forty five dollars. Like, but now we're sounding like assholes. We're like, talk, we're, we got to stay in a hotel for free on our tour. <laughs> Like, it, was, it was dirty. <laughs> it was bad. It just looked like it should be really nice. I think that's what made me so mad because it like looked really nice. The lobby looked awesome, and I was like, yeah. "Oh boy, this is a fan." <laughs> and then you get in the room, and you're like, "Oh, it's the size of a closet, and yeah. there's rats living here." And then a building caught on fire right next oh, door. Yeah, yeah. 
You texted us. You were like bomb or fire. I thought like, like, <laughs> you, like you just say fire. You can't assume I bomb. Heard an a bomb went off. I saw smoke billowing up. You you heard an explosion? Maybe it was like a car screeching to a halt. But, dude, you said bomb, and I swear to God, I thought it was like nine eleven. I thought so. I, well, that's what it looked like. It looked like giant plumes of smoke right next to our hotel, and people were like scrambling in the streets. Yeah, that's true. But like, uh, it, fucking saying bomb really makes me feel like we're under attack it was very scary i always go for the worst that way if it's not a bomb you're relieved i think it was a grease fire at a burger king yeah within like Sorry, 15 minutes burger of, king. everything was back to normal you know what it was somebody was didn't get cheese on his hand i went yeah yeah <laughs> hey where were you during that street don't worry about it you were so pissed that smoke came out of your ears and that was a fire and you everyone thought it was this a whopper um Oh, I also wanted to mention our live podcast on May 31st, Saturday, May 31st. 8 p.m. at the Hollywood Improv. Tickets still available. Please come. We're thinking of getting some cool special guests. It's not That's me. That's all we'll say. It's not me. You won't be here on May 31st? I don't think so. You should just move to L.A. already. Yeah. Uh, it's getting kind I'd of love annoying. to. Yeah. Although I would say we probably see you more often that you visit because if you lived here we could like we would be like more casual with how often we saw you and now that you're you yeah, visit yeah. It's like you're staying we'd, with us every other week we'd break plans a lot yeah we'd be like let's get dinner and then day off we'd be like oh That's you know what LA, dude. you know yeah. what I'm just like I'm not I'm had a long day yeah, I'm busy yo can busy. we push it to eight like actually you know what I don't even think I can make it oh cool no <laughs> uh, you just see that and traffic both of us are just like happy sitting on our couch not seeing each other <laughs> That's the best uh, Mulaney jo- like the most real John Mulaney joke. Cool. What, is that it's so easy not to see yeah them? he was like canceling plans is like uh he was like it's like social heroin or something i don't want to so ruin the joke but it's like it's just it's oh i think he goes in terms of instant gratification canceling plans is like heroin that's yeah. really funny we had a meeting canceled yesterday and we we're really happy yeah it's like a two-hour <laughs> obligation less opportunity it's like, yeah, yeah it's a it's a meeting with like a producer who we should all, of course be like excited to see we, could, we should be researching his films we should be like brainstorming ideas we should be in there pitching ourselves and instead it's like we didn't do jack shit meeting morning of they're like yay it's cans we're like yeah <laughs> we're gonna be unemployed forever and we didn't even do anything yesterday we didn't record a podcast we didn't write anything we just uh you got lunch with your friend yeah. i hung out with mike carnell we took we had a day off actually That's i think we fun. deserved it because we had a half day on monday yeah. And it wiped us. And the uh, and then <laughs> you have like, a life off. Yeah. Last week in in San Francisco, we um didn't do anything. Yeah. So that was good. We're back from vacation, and now we're sort of in a different home vacation. We're in the transition. You're period. in a staycation. You we're said- used to not doing anything far away from home, so now we're not going to do anything at home, and then we'll ease into work. What did you say recently? You're like most people have time off, or their work and time off. Oh yeah. And then in their like a third layer of like extra time off or something, and we only have time off. We only have vacation. Oh, it's leisure time. It's like yeah, yeah. it's like work. Your it's work time, like personal hobby time, and right. then leisure time. Right. And all we have is uh, <laughs> hobby time and leisure time. <laughs> right. We don't have work time. <laughs> yeah, we only have two times. Like, but most people have like a forty-hour work week, and then in their spare time, they do something still like yeah, they do something like they're reading. passionate about. Yeah, yeah but like, it's oh, still I'm work. Like, I'm gonna do woodworking. That'd be I like your your that. rock climbing would be yeah, their right. free time. Exactly. Right. So, but I, instead we have a third layer of time, which is just boredom. Right. Which I deal with all the time now. Yeah, it's absolutely nothing time. How it's can like, you okay, be bored? It's, well, it's hobby time. You're which a is writer. Hobby time writing, and then <laughs> and then leisure time climbing in TV, and then like I have all this other time that normally other people would be using for their hobbies and their leisure. Right. But my I, my leisure's already done, and you my hobbies are already done. You yeah, by nighttime job. I'm leisured out. Yeah. So then you I just jerk you become off a three landscaper, times a day. dude. <laughs> landscaper. You got this big old yard here. You can do some scaping out there. That would be cool. I would be. I would totally be down for that. But I don't own this place. Look at those dude. Like they're all dead. You gotta it. take care of that There's shit. There's a drought. There's a drought, man. I can't take care of the earth. <laughs> All right, let's get to the last question. We're already running dangerously over, but you know I'm what? such a, chat, a people, chatterbox. People I'm love sorry. that shit. They love it. All right, one last question. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they didn't ask for. Ooh, it's More another so. girl. Is okay, that female character. Great news. Trophy Wife has one grown male character, so we got plenty of female options. Okay, let's great. go with Meg. Meg writes... Yeah. Here's my situation. I, a 20-year-old lady, have recently broken things off with a 27-year-old guy who I was only casually dating for about five months. It turned out that he didn't want a serious relationship, and I told him that if that was the case, then I couldn't stay around. 
Fast forward to about three weeks, and here I am missing both his company and the sex. We've talked maybe once since we ended things, but I've been debating whether or not to try to talk him into dating me again. However, I'm worried that since he hasn't really reached out to me much, that he's lost any and all interest in me. So what do you guys think I should do? Should I reach out or just leave him be? I would love to hear your opinion since he's closer to your guys' age. Thanks, Meg. Oh, Meg. Meg's Meg's 20. Meg Poor would like to renege. Poor little Meg. Poor little Meg. And then her boyfriend is 27 or 26. 27. Like They'll do she was fucking casually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's it's like, just a cash. A yeah. Cash well, he was like, I want to be casual. Bone. And then she's like, well, if you're not going to treat me seriously, I'm going to leave. And he's like, all right, bye. And then three weeks later, she's like, wait, actually, I changed my mind. I'm down to just <laughs> right. fuck you. Okay, baby. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> you got you to gotta be serious <laughs> about me or we're not having sex anymore all right we're not gonna have sex anymore okay <laughs> wait <laughs> wait what Who i are still you? want to fuck well I've, I've already found two other 20 year olds to fuck date me no <laughs> i already Marry said no. me. I already it's been said three no weeks and i'm considering asking him to date me again <laughs> yeah you already asked him to date you don't do i don't think yourself. i don't think there's she gets what she wants yeah. either no matter what happens she doesn't get what she wants no you stick don't. to your guns exactly and then at least at the very least you will have your self-respect because he is, honey, he's a dickweed, okay? Let me tell you, sister. He is a dickweed. Free, you could do so much better than he, him. You know, and I don't necessarily think that he's a dickweed, but he doesn't want anything serious. He told you, he, and you said, if that's the case, then I can't be with you. And then you left, and that's it. That's really it. But now she's I like, oh, maybe we can fuck I think he's no, doing she's, something she's honorable. Saying, yeah, she told her the truth. Yeah, he and, was like, look, I can't, I can't give you what you want, so I'm not going to waste your time. And she's not saying she wants to just fuck. She's saying, I'm missing him, and I'm considering asking him to date me again. That's what, she, like, you can't go... you. He just didn't talk to you for three weeks. You can't just go back and be like, hey, I actually was really serious about that offer of dating seriously. Right. You can't do that. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah, I think it's over. I mean, she can try if she's really broken up about it. She's just... she's No harm in trying. Sounds like him. she just misses boning. No, she doesn't. She's going to miss... You're, you're going to go back and start boning and you're going to get attached and you're going to feel bad and then he's going to be like, I get everything I want. I've got... I told her I wanted to be casual and you're like back there being like, oh, faux casual. Like, oh, this is so cool and whatever. I don't care. Can I see you tonight? <laughs> like, no, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine. I'll do my thing. Who are you fucking? <laughs> If it isn't me, then who? I feel like you've been through this situation. You're you're this 27-year-old. You're the guy. Yes, and don't give me what I want. (laughs) But it's working. What he's doing is working. Of course it's working. But like, you have to, as hard as, as it is, make it not work. Break the system. You can beat me. I can be vanquished. I'm giving you the <laughs> fucking roadmap. And maybe he'll reach out to you one day. What if he reaches out to you and he's like, hey, can we just have one casual night? You think she should say no? Say no. Definitely say no. Of course not. You think she's going to, though? No. Yeah, what's that What's that metaphor? Why buy, the, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? Yeah. Why buy the milk when you get the cow for free? Why drink the cow when you buy the milk for free? <laughs> you can take a good look at why a Why own the cow milk? <laughs> By sticking your head up a steak's ass, but I'd rather take the cow's worth for it. <laughs> um, I want to. I am like in my head. I imagine this dude as like this nice, like understanding guy who's like, you know what? Like I can't make that commitment, and like I want you to, uh, you know, I don't want me to stop you from meeting some great guy who right. can. But like uh, you know, in reality, this guy's like a hyper douche. He's just like, whatever. Yeah. I definitely found another fucking 20-year-old to fuck, so I don't even need you. Like, that's who he really is. Hi, the guy that doesn't talk with his mouth closed. <laughs> I, I can't close my you. mouth. I can't close my fucking mouth, and I don't care. <laughs> Why is it easier for a 27-year-old to get 20-year-olds than a 20-year-old to get 20-year-old? It's almost like know. age compensates for attractiveness. It's weird because you can't, as the as the male in this scenario, it seems like this great deal, but like... You can't be a 25-year-old guy and going out with a 19-year-old girl. Like, that would suck the For worst. Wait, For you. So you're saying the 19 year, it would suck to date a 19-year-old? Yeah, I think it would. But it would not suck. Yeah, to- me too. But I think, like, girls that age that are would attracted be to, like, older guys. <laughs> you know, girls are, like, attracted to older dudes. Yeah. yeah. But then I find, like, I don't know, when you, like when you hung out with, like, younger girls, aren't you, like... Oh god, it's so annoying. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on the girl. But yeah, in general, I guess it's better to date someone who's more mature. 
But what well, about yeah. if you're just interested in boning? Well, well girls then are, it, girls what does are it more matter? It dudes. doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you subscribe to the divide your age by two plus seven thing? Like is tw- <laughs> is twenty seven and twenty two? Is that too young? I would say it would be a little that like it would just be weird because when you're twenty seven, you're in such a different stage in your life. Yeah. You know. I'm thirty one, and I have to sort of decide when to cut the cut the age limit off. Like, I would cut yourself you off at twenty seven. 27 that's maybe, high maybe 26 you think if i if i slept with or dated a 25 year old that would be weird what's the no i think it'd be maybe weird if you dated one for a long time a 25 year old i don't remember i feel like if you're out of college i think 24 that way you're like at least out of college for a couple of years I rem- I forget the year that my brain turned into an adult brain. but also like girls are so different girls I, there are girls that are mature at like 20, 21, 22. Yeah, definitely Your more honor. mature than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why, Your Honor, I feel that... <laughs> this is me, this is me, like, talking with my hands up at, at uh, some dude, some dad's pointing a shotgun at me. She told me she was 16, Your Honor. That's still too young. Is it? <laughs> oh, Christ. Fuck. I, have to I learn just thought lots. it was hot. <laughs> um, yeah. Can I suggest masturbating to this girl? That way, she's she's at least having an orgasm, and she'll desire him less. Right. Well, or just like go out. Or does that not work for girls? That's a. Th- I don't know. That's a weird thing, right? I think that's. I think that's only a guy thing. Yeah, I think it is. When a too. guy climaxes, he's like, "Oh, I don't need sex for the next." Yeah, half he's hour. like, "Oh, my brain will work for a one and a half hour." I'll have. But, a but when a girl orgasms, she might just want another one right away. Yeah, because they can just keep going. It seems like it makes them more awake, and guys more tired. Thoughts. I would agree 100%. Okay. Depends. So take that away. Don't masturbate. That's what it is. It removes Become celibate. The- <laughs> <laughs> Just go out. Find another 20. Find another dude that's going to yeah. treat you better. Yeah, that's do, wait, do all a, you need to do. There's do so a, many. Do a 20-year-old guy a favor and go do a 20-year-old yeah. guy. Just oh. don't, don't be with anybody you know? that stresses you out. That's yeah. the rule. Also, this guy, this guy, whether he sucks or not, he sucks for you and fucking meet somebody else yeah the best way to get over someone is to find a new person boom yeah and amir is single and ready to tingle i'm actually 27 years old <laughs> 27 i'll straight take you to heaven <laughs> 27 and 48 months uh, all right that's it we went long but you know what that's gonna happen sometimes thanks. thank you streeter thanks, thanks for streeter. having me guys do you want to plug anything i got nothing to plug what about your tv show well, I guess. Oh, when's this come out? Tomorrow? Yeah, Thursday. I guess watch the uh, yeah the season finale. Of trophy wife. Of trophy if wife. If twenty million people watch it, they'll probably bring back. You know what? I think the call will already be made by that point. But <laughs> damn it! You know, hopefully, there's another season. I have a job. I can move out here, live uh, with you guys. Uh, and thanks to uh, Colin and uh, what was his name? Corey. Corey and Colin for submitting that theme song. If you have a theme song of your own or a question of your own, send it to if I were you show at gmail dot com. Uh, we're just going to start and end every episode with a completely new original theme song. Uh, and this last one at the end of this episode was written by Rudy. Rudy, I guess it's an Adventure Time parody. So, yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back on Monday. Peace. If I were you, the podcast show, they'll answer very real questions. With Jake the monster, Amir the good guy, the fun will never end. It's podcast time.